<clears throat> so let's talk product research today I decided I was going to be opening up a new seller account with a new brand and starting to sell on Amazon um, with a new brand I yet don't know yet what product I want to sell but I know that it's time for me to open up a new brand and another sellers account so what I decided to do was to do some product research but how to do product research nowadays right how to do product research to find products that nobody else is finding so um, I decided to think outside the box and I haven't seen this being done uh, but when you are sourcing product, obviously you source product from China and um, maybe turns out that the best way to find products might be from China also. So basically what I was doing, uh, you know, I was doing some basic product research and I came across, you know, some Alibaba suppliers. And while I was here on the front page, I realized that uh, I don't know how new this is because I might have been sleeping on this, but. Uh, Alibaba has a new way that they set everything up. They've got a bestsellers kind of list in their front page. And what really struck me, the, what really impressed me was that um, their bestsellers have the meat and poultry tool. So this like defrosting tray, if you guys don't know, and this food hammock. So if you guys have been watching me for a little while now, you know that in my previous product research methods, I actually found both those products and uh, they were pretty good products. But now I'm guessing there's a lot more competition in the market and um you know maybe they're not as good anymore so i mean if, if they're best sellers on alibaba that means a lot of people are sourcing them right so we're not necessarily looking for products to sell necessarily from uh, alibaba you know especially their best sellers list but maybe have better ideas of uh, you know up and coming niches and once we find best uh, you know better up and coming niches what we're going to do is we're going to use the rabbit hole method which i'm sure a lot of you guys know i'll explain it a little bit in the in in, in a little bit <laughs> Um, but it's a really, really cool way to find uh, products people aren't really seeing. So without further ado, let's get right into it and I will show you guys um, what I'm talking about. So I decided that, right, I haven't really played with this too long, but I decided that I would come here. So so these are bargain buys, I guess, products that have had really good prices in the past uh, 30 days. So let's open it up and let's take a look at this. I really haven't played around with this too much, but as you can see, there's a ton of... Um, you know, different categories you can play in. So let's get right into it. Okay, sorry. Uh, I, I'm just gonna go on a little tangent right now about this product right here and about similar products to this. So basically, yeah, so there's a lot of them. Yeah, obviously, okay. So these are the best sellers on, um, on Alibaba right now for home and garden. So I'll explain to you guys something. When I was doing my sourcing for one of the products I think I wanna do uh, yesterday, I went to the search bar and I clicked on it and then you can see popular searches. Now, stainless steel straw is an incredibly popular search. Not only is it on the bestsellers, list, which I didn't know uh, until right now, but it's also on the popular searches, um, which is not a good sign. Now, I actually made a video on how to know if your product is going to become competitive, uh, meaning that, you know, when you actually launch it, are there going to be like 15 or 20 more sellers that launch with you? Or is it going to be actually a good product that you'll be able to build a, a brand around? A really quick way of doing that is just going on jump send. Um, obviously I'll link the video up there for full in depth, but just quickly, uh, go to jump send, right? And this is one thing that I almost guarantee will, uh, prove to you guys that this product is really saturated or, or, or will be really saturated. So this is just a giveaway website. Um, if people are giving away their stuff here, that means that uh, there's a lot, a lot of new sellers coming in. Again, watch that video if you guys are interested in this. So let's just type in stainless steel straw. And as you guys can see. There are a ton of new sellers in this market, a lot of foldable ones, a lot of you know regular ones. So this is just a warning to all of you guys that this is something, you know, this is a trend. Uh, a lot of people are coming into a market. It's gonna be kind of like those, um, you know, what are the angle rulers, right? There, it was a good product until a lot of people came in and it got too, uh, got too um, saturated. Also, the foldable straws, okay? Somebody messaged me, one of you guys, I think maybe you guys did a patent search on this. You guys told me that the foldable straws are a patented product. If you guys don't believe me, go for it. I'm just trying to save some of you guys some money and some time, okay? Um, so that's pretty much that. So let's get back to the video. Let's get back to doing some product research. Um, this is a really interesting way of finding products. I really haven't played around with this too much but it seems like it could be pretty good. So a lot of you guys have been asking me um, how I determine like which products are good or not. In this case, these are all bestsellers, so they probably are pretty good on Amazon. Um, I'm just trying to find something interesting to kind of go into, something that I would like to personally go into. 
because um, you know stuff like this I don't really do. What are these like uh, iced coffee filter? I mean, you really can't sell that, uh, or you can't sell it for a lot of money. So I'm kind of looking for something that has margins. And how do I? How do you know something that has margins? Um, well, obviously you look at the price uh, on both here and, and, and on Amazon, but also um, usually things that kind of look higher quality. Um, will we'll usually sell for more for more money. So if you're gonna try to find something that's like made of cheap plastic or something uh, You probably won't have a big profit margin on something like that. So I don't know what this is, but this looks pretty interesting um, That's what is it a Perfect photo pets It launches food to get a good picture of your dog. Oh my god, that's crazy I would have never thought okay so let's try looking this up. So what was it called again? It was, uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, pets attention, okay, treat launcher for dogs. Is that it? Uh, that's not really the same product, but this looks pretty interesting. Let's just check this one out since we're already here. Um, let's just open up the niche, see how much money uh, everyone is making it. So everyone's making absolutely nothing. So, I mean, these products aren't doing too great. So we'll leave this alone. Sometimes the rabbit hole method does not work. You don't want to waste too much time with it. But let's go back to the bargain buys and let's look at what else here. I mean, I personally don't really ever do any pet stuff, but I do know a huge power seller, um, Rafael. Maybe you guys know about him. He he has uh, some like pet, huge pet brands that he's doing and he's, he's, he's absolutely killing it. Um, what is this? One bottle cooler freezer with aerator wine chiller that's interesting okay i know wine uh, stuff makes a does or does a lot of money this looks pretty cool uh and not very competitive but i mean the question is does it make money right like if it doesn't make money it doesn't really matter um and it doesn't seem to be making any money so guys as you can see you know this doesn't always work out you know as as those it has everyone shows you right you you know you come in here and you find a product making 20 million dollars in like five minutes um that's not the case always but this is definitely a way that you can, you know, start finding good products to sell. Um, now, I'm probably going to release this video anyways because I want to be real with you guys. Uh, you know, some stuff is more difficult. Uh, some stuff takes time to find. So, um, but this is definitely a really cool way to start finding uh, products. You can also, again, play with different stuff. What is this? You can play with different categories, right? Stainless steel insulated wine glass. That's pretty cool. Again, wine stuff some most of the time it's pretty good anyway, insulated wine glass with lid i guess that's pretty cool um okay so these guys look a little bit competitive not super competitive so it's not something crazy you can always so differentiate like they said with a lid or something like that okay so this is where it gets a little interesting now this guy's making yeah this is crazy so ninety-one thousand with you know 120 reviews guys that's a lot but it's not crazy amount um so these guys have really good branding uh 40, with 63 reviews that is absurd um 4, with uh with nine reviews not the best thing but this is again a little bit of a differentiation so guys okay so this is actually a really cool product to sell um let's just do some math on it brewmate uncorked insulated stainless steel like okay what is this this guy's making a crazy amount of money with just one product um, or like, I mean, rather one, uh, one item. It's not even that, it's not even a bundle. It's just one item. Okay. So this guy, and he only has 55 views and his pictures are not good. Okay. So he's coming with a lid. So that's one differentiation. I'm not sure if all of them come with lids, but this guy is coming with a lid. Now let's open up the flash. Oh no, that's not what we were looking for. I just want to show you guys if this product product is actually profitable or not. So in this case, it's uh, selling for 387 for 500 pieces. Um, now, you know, 387 per unit, um, that's not including all the, you know, per, you know, kind of, uh, logos and stuff like that. I'm assuming personally. So let's assume that this is about 450 after everything you need to do with it, you know, add the lid stuff like that. Right. So let's say it's about four, let's say $5. Okay. So let's open up the AMZ calculator. I'm sure you guys know where this is going. AMZ calculator just helps us figure out how much uh, money something like this could earn. So let's make sure that it's uh, the estimated monthly sales are the same. So 1,436. Um, the thing is, Jungle Scout is more accurate on that. So I'm going to trust that one and I'll input the, the stuff in there. So 2,149. That's the real amount or you know closest amount uh, of how much it's actually selling. So let's put on 
what is going on? 2149. Delete that one. And it's gonna that's so that's how much it's actually making. Uh, product cost, we said let's say five dollars. I mean, I think that's a pretty fair fair amount, especially when you buy 500 pieces. Shipping cost, it's really small, especially if you're doing one of them like this. I mean, this guy actually has some like cool design on it. Let's just do let's just do six dollars, okay? Which that's a ridiculous price to pay for something like this. I'm sh like, you can 100% get it cheaper, but let's say six dollars. Um, shipping cost, let's say, I mean, it's not too big. Yeah, it's 319. So let's say, um, let's say an absurd amount. Let's just say two dollars per unit, which again is an absurd amount. Uh, PPC cost, we're not going to do because you know that that depends. And let's say we also sell it at twenty dollars. So we sell it two dollars cheaper than the than the first guy or than the primary guy. And um, you know, let's even let's even let's even assume that we're only going to sell half as much. Okay. So that's right there. So we just assumed six dollars per unit. We assumed shipping cost of two dollars per unit, which these are really high prices. And we assumed that we would sell half as much as this one guy. And we still can see that this product, even after all of that, is very, very profitable. Seven thousand five hundred in profit if we assumed all of that. Now, that's a lot to assume, but um, it's definitely something you can you. I mean, I think it's fair to assume that also he's been selling for 43 days. So, you know, this guy came in out of nowhere and started selling. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to do that either. Um, but, you know, I don't know how he did this. He's kind of selling an insulated wine glass, like even though the market's pretty competitive, he's only selling one and he's selling it for pretty expensive. I think it's because he added some texture to it, which other people did not. Here's another differentiation like that. Um, now, for some reason, I'm noticing that maybe um, better, better, uh, branding and marketing um, and higher price is working better than you know kind of more of them because see there's a lot of them here but they're selling for fourteen dollars here there's only two of them they're selling for twenty five and there's and you know I'm pretty sure they're making it you know what let's just make let's just double check how much money they're making but I'm sure they're making a ton of money because it's the perceived value that I talked to you guys about you know sometimes it's actually better to have you know less bang for your buck but a, a little bit higher quality because then people will buy your product. You know, they'll be more likely to buy your product. So um, where did we find those guys? So, okay, so this guy's making 86,000 and this guy's making uh, 40,000, right? So, but but this guy has, well, that's not even the one we were comparing. That one's selling 12.99. I guess this guy's making a ton of money. Um, and he has, he has 200 reviews. I mean, if this guy had 200 reviews, he'd probably sell a very similar amount of money. It's like that equilibrium, you know, where it's the you have to find the perfect price point for the amount of sales. Um, and and anyways, guys, if I was going into this market, right, which I'm sure there's there's tons of space in here. Well, not tons, but there is space. Um, I would do maybe a one or a two pack. Looks like a two pack does actually even better. Uh, I wouldn't do a 12 pack or a six pack. I think that's uh, the profits are really low on that especially when you're only selling it for $13. I think those are Chinese sellers who are doing this, but they have a ton of reviews here as well. And remember, you can also go deeper into the niche. So let's say we went into this product, we open up the Jungle Scout, we can actually keep looking deeper into this niche and find more great products to sell. Basically, like I said, what we do is we open the Jungle Scout and then we find the best reviews to uh, like a revenue ratio. So in this case, we have I mean, there's a decent amount. So we have the 50,000, 55 reviews, and this is the one that we were looking at. So this guy's making with one with one item, he's making 50,000 a month with 55 reviews. That is crazy. Also, you can also read the reviews and see what why it's only a four and a half star and how you can improve it to a five star. Um, and then, you know, if you can figure that out, you'd obviously be making a killing. Um, here's another differentiation, 23,000 with 19 reviews. There's a reason this guy's doing so well. He can, comes with a little uh, cleaning, you know, utensil at the bottom there and it comes with straws. So that's really cool as well. Um, here's another one. I mean, that looks pretty much the same. Then you open up the, the product that you like. So in this case, this is the best review to uh, revenue ratio, a ton of different variations. But what you do then is you open up your Jungle Scout again and you go deeper and deeper into niche. Like I said, this is the rabbit hole method and then you can find a ton of good stuff. Once you find a good niche, like something like this, you can find a ton of very, very profitable um, products. Now in this case, it seems like I'm finding uh, the similar ones. Now this does happen sometimes because uh, this is a pretty big niche. Um, but, see this is these guys again. Um, okay, so what is this? 
model one wine preservation system i don't know what that is um maybe that's some sort of brand or something but you know what let's just for 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 i guess proof of concept let's go into this product and see if we can find any cool products i guess related into the wine because wine is actually if you guys don't know is a pretty profitable um you know niche because i'm guessing it's because you know the people who drink wine on a regular basis are probably pretty wealthy or i mean I mean, I guess that's how it's perceived. It might not be necessarily the case, but I, that's how you know people make people make it seem. Anyways, it's not pulling up any uh, related products here, so you guys get the point. This is pretty much a awesome way. I think it's a pretty cool way to find new products to sell. Um, these are again, like I said, you don't necessarily want to do the exact products that are being bestsellers on Alibaba, uh, but in this case, it really does seem like uh, you can go into it now. If you want to be ultra safe, like I said, let's go to jump send and check it out here just to make sure that it is still a good product to sell because you obviously don't want to go into it if there are a ton of other sellers in the in the niche or, or rather more sellers coming into the niche. So let's go to insulated wine glass. Okay, so there are a few people in here um, selling this stuff. Um, you know what? So you... Be careful with something like this. Now it all seems to be this Drinko guy. So actually, I, I think it's it's all one brand. It's all Drinko, which is not a big deal. Um, also, he's not selling something exactly what I would sell. I would sell something textured, something nice, so not like glossy like this. Uh, but as you can see, if there was a lot of different brands coming in here, you would probably want to be careful with something like this. But this is definitely something cool. There's a lot of different wine. You know, you can really build a brand around like wine stuff. I hope you guys did enjoy the Alibaba product research method. If you guys found this helpful at all, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I answer every single one of you and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.